Well, how y'all are this afternoon? This is your old buddy George Jones down here at Candy Fork Guns and Ammo at 121 West University Drive in Somerset, Kentucky. Say, listen, we got a lot of ammo. We have a good supply of ammo at Candy Fork. Nowadays, we've ordered tons of it. We've got 9mm, 45, 357, 38 Special, 32 Auto, 25. We've got all kinds of obsolete ammunition that we've received. 6.5 Jap, 6.5 Kakano, got 7.5 54 French, there's Kakano. We've got 6.5 Creedmoor, you know, 7.62 by 54, 338 Lapua Magnum, and all the handgun calibers you can imagine, and soft point, hollow point, and so forth just absolutely eat up with ammunition. If your regular guy can't get you the ammunition that you want, you need to give us a call. Or you need to come over here and buy some ammo if you need some ammo. We've got bulk 9mm, 45, 38, 357. We've got all the major brands. We've got all of the remanufactured brands. Uh, we've got Midway and, and so forth, Precision. It's all good stuff. The precision line is what I typically use when I'm shooting a video for the channel. So, uh, something to think about. If you need ammo, give us a call. We're down here at 121 West University Drive in Somerset, Kentucky. Google Earth it and come on over. Well, that's about the size of it. We'll see y'all when we see you. How y'all are today? It's your buddy George Jones over here at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on eight. I got this old used gun. The old used gun I got today is this guy. The Beretta Model 81 in caliber 7.65 ACP or 32 ACP. Now, this guy, I don't know. These guys came into the country recently. Uh, the import mark on this one is PW Arms, Richmond, Virginia, West Virginia, West WA, whatever that is. I guess it's West Atlanta. Yeah, what WA is. Uh, it's manufactured Pedetto Beretta Gardone NT Caliber 765 made in Italy. Prominent serial number on it, and that's the only serial number that's on it. Uh, and it's got Beretta proof marks all over it. Uh, PB. Model 81, patented. Pretty cool little gun. Uh, fits nice in the hand, feels good. Is a true double action automatic pistol. Now this guy does not have decocker on it, okay? It simply has ambidextrous safety. The safety can be applied whether the hammer is cocked or not. Okay, you can carry it cocked and locked if you want to. There's no need in carrying it cocked and locked because it is double action. So all you got to do, you know, if you want to carry it condition one and ready to go, simply have the safety off of the round end battery and you can come up here and just pull the gun out and start cranking it. Okay? Pretty simple. Uh, pretty nice gun, not beat up too awful badly. It's in about 95% condition. There's a little contact wear here and there on it. But other than that, it looks really nice. Uh, a lot better than what you'd expect to find in, in a police import handgun. Okay. So it's a pretty acceptable little gun. Let's shoot it right quick and find out where we're at. I've got this guy. Got two kinds of ammo here. I've got 71 grain 32 auto Aguila. And I've got uh, PMC 32 auto hollow point. 60 grain jacketed hollow point. Okay, for test purposes, let's see how it, well, let's shoot. Let's see how it shoots. Let's see how it shoots um, hollering points. You know, let's see how it shoots hollered points. Uh, let's see. I have to load this guy manually. I don't think it'll, <clears throat> don't think it'll, I don't think my magazine loader will work on it. Magazine feed lips are too narrow. Okay. I 
hate loading magazines manually. Real pain in that thumb. Okay, get them in there. Get them in there. This magazine actually holds and is witness hold for 12 rounds. I'm going to go 10. I got to load it manually here, so I'm going to load 10. All right, we got 10 in it. Well, let's see where we're at here. I've never shot this gun before. Safety's good and positive. Okay. Get some air mufflers on. And take a whack at it and see where we can get. All right, here we go. Down here behind it. Better draw down, Alvin. Now we're going seven yards here just to demonstrate consistency. Let's go look at it. Range is a little growed up. Ain't been much activity over here lately. That was 10 from seven yards. Uh, yeah, that's all right. I, can, I noticed that very, this was the first impact right there at seven yards and then they're all in there i the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, that's pretty acceptable uh, now why would you do a seven yard test on this handgun well for the simple reason that this gun is probably not this one's probably not the gun you want to get into a 50 yard shootout in with for the simple reason that a 32 ACP, you know, a 32 ACP has got significant less power, okay, at uh, 50 yards than it does at 7 yards. Uh, wound somebody at 50 yards? Yeah, yeah, you could do that. There's, if you know, but it's, this guy's dropping off pretty quick in terms of velocity and inertia and so forth at the greater ranges so uh, overall this is a very acceptable gun it's uh, not real big you know it's about uh, three and three quarter inch barrel length something like that I haven't measured it uh, it's a pretty acceptable gun and grading wise it's not in too bad a shape uh, I give it at 90 or 95 percent there's a little bit of holster and uh, wear out here on the areas where you'd normally find it the high spots where it goes into the holster uh, the gripping surface is not badly worn the grips are in excellent condition uh, the magazine is in good shape collector value it does have this importation mark on there so if you're a Beretta collector you know that that uh, that hurts the overall value of the gun by having that mark on there but you had to put that on there in order to get it in the country uh, I give the value of this gun somewhere around 300 to 325 dollars now I haven't looked on the internet to see who's importing these in who's got them for sale or whatever but I figure it's a good $300 gun any way you look at it. Well, that's a little short video there on an old windy hot day. Uh, like, take, share, if I commentate and subscribe. Uh, this gun comes from us courtesy of, uh, of uh, Caney Fork Guns and Ammo Apache Armaments. And we appreciate their support, despite all the support I'm getting. Except the guys that give me money on Patreon, which, man, I really appreciate it. I mean, it's like 40 bucks a month, but, you know, it's 40 bucks a month, and people are willing to put their, 
put their hard-earned money behind my efforts, and I can't tell you how much it means to me. So like, take, share, pie, commentate, and subscribe. Leave me an old dollar in the Patreon bucket on the way out the door, and maybe I'll get me a barber shop opened up in my community where I can go down there and get rid of this Einstein haircut. <laughs> we'll see y'all when we see you. Bye now. <laughs>